there's a number of big matches. First, there was AC Milan, the league leaders, versus the struggling Juventus. It ended with a win for Juve with a score of 3-1. to one. Spezia somehow beat Napoli, and Sampdoria also surprisingly beat Inter Milan, both of the games with a score of 2-1. to one. Moving on with to the team of the week, which will be shown on your screens right now. Reports say that Spurs are now interested in loaning Pedisic from Inter Milan. Genoa also... Uh, according to Fabrizio Romano, G Genoa have already loaned Struman from Olympique de Marseille. It's official. We also have evidence that Juve is looking to buy a new striker because they have shown interest in Giroud and Cagliarella. Except Cagliarella um, rules out his return to Juve. We also now know that Delict has sadly contracted the contracted the coronavirus. Best of wishes to him and his family. Here is the table of Serie A. As we see, AC Milan still leading. Inter Milan is in a close second. Roma is third and Juventus is fourth. Here are the top scorers. Ronaldo leading with 14 goals. Lukaku in second with 12. And third is Ciro Immobile, the former golden boot winner. And he has 11 goals. In assists, Mkhitaryan is leading with seven assists, who is having an amazing season at Roma. Mertens tied with Canalhu for second with six assists. Welcome back, everybody, to La Liga News. Today, I'll be telling you the inside scoop of the past week in La Liga. I want to start off by saying I'm congratulating Aspas for winning the Player of the Month for December. But his team, Celta Vigo, struggles to find their rhythm. Uh, without losing back-to-back -back losses, one including a 4-0 loss to Villarreal. Moving on, Segunda B, seventh place team, U E Gornea, shocked and beat La Liga title favorites Atletico Madrid with a 1-0 win. Moving on, reports say Cubo loan at Villarreal is ending and will move to Gaddafi on loan from Real Madrid. Real Madrid are wanting to do this so Cubo can get more play time. Many sources say Lyon's Musa Dembele is on his way to Atletico de Madrid with a loan to buy option. Atletico de Madrid is also looking to sign William Jose if the Musa Dembele transfer does not go through. Moving on, both Real Madrid and Barcelona are looking to, to, to continue their five plus game on beating streak. Of course, uh, Barcelona aren't doing that well in La Liga and are struggling to find their rhythm, but it's looking like they will find it and they will be able to continue. It will be hard for them to get first place, but they will definitely, hopefully, get a top four place. And looking at Real Madrid, Real Madrid is in the title, the title hunt for first place, trying to win La Liga, competing against a very favorable Atletico de Madrid. Now, that's it, everybody. See you guys next so for today's episode, in this section, we're going to be talking about the Premier League what's and the transfer market and what's happened the past couple of weeks. So first, I'm going to talk about Man United. Uh, Marcos Rojo and Romero might leave. Uh, Bruno, Bruno Fernandes, has been essential for Man United. He's distributed the ball, he's scored, and overall has been very good for Man United. Um, Thiago has been a great signing for Liverpool. He's been really good, distributed the ball, a perfect center midfielder. But the strange thing is, Liverpool, Julian Klopp says that he's not interested in the transfer market, which I think is strange because they are in need of a center back because of Virgil van Dijk's injury that has him out for the whole season. COVID is getting worse in England, so we might expect some games to be postponed or cancelled even. Um, Mourinho says that they shouldn't and they should keep going, but manager uh, Steve Bruce for Newcastle says that he thinks that they should stop and that it's morally wrong to continue amid the COVID spike. Um, because of uh, because Man United have has that the fact that Marcus Rojo and Romero might leave. They just signed Diallo, which is really good because Man United defense has not been doing too well uh, this season and last season. And 
and to end it off, Pochettino on um, on PSG now. He went to PSG. Is looking. Is keeping an eye on Aguero. He might sign him, which also I think makes a big difference and makes it easier for Messi to go to PSG, and he might want to even more. And yeah, that's it for the Premier League. That's all you need to know for these past couple of weeks. And see you next episode.